Hey, what's up guys? Martin Unix here and welcome again guys to my YouTube channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you on how to do barrel roll half do on length dreadlocks which will consist of a lock knot bang. So welcome guys. Now we are going to do some barrels at the back to hand beauty on our signature bun which will be at the center. And uh, in other ones guys, I will be minimizing the, the volume of uh, our lock strands since the lock swans are quite long so when the lock swans are quite long guys you identify other styles which you can incorporate with the signature style so that you can minimize the volume of the burn so uh, i brought a tutorial about the barrel rolls guys whereby we did a barrel roll bob if you can remember very well but uh, just for the sake of those guys who did not see how we did the barrel roll bob and just for the sake of our beginners guys i'm going to show a slowed version on how to come up with the barrel rolls at the back just to beautify our signature style so guys pick two strands that way twist them together to certain level then pick one of the strands guys and then you know measure the length that you want your barrels to be on my case guys i want the length of my barrels to be at the shoulder length that way guys i will measure using my fingers then create a loop that way create a loop under the fingers that way then attach the strand to the lower part of the, the lock strand pick the lock strand guys and make some barrel movements and if you can remember guys we said that uh, barrel roll is a 360 degree or horizontal pin that way guys you just move your strands around that way after that level now guys pick the remaining strand wrap it around reinforce and secure the tip from the previous strand which has just ended then wrap your strand all the way down that way wrap your strand all the way down all the way down after upon reaching this part guys you realize that uh, at the, be at the beginning of the barrel, we created a loop here. So just insert your crochet hook inside the loop. Pick the tip, pull it to a certain extent, guys, and leave it to that level. Or else, guys, you can pull the tip outside and pull it inside the, the lock strands. On my case, I'm gonna leave it at that level. And now this guys becomes my first barrel barrel roll formation at the back. So guys, let's do another barrel. Plan with me, guys, as we maneuver through the challenges. If the strands are left out a little bit, you know, lengthier. Is the way you can manage them just to come with the to come up with the uniform barrels which are in level so just do your twist out to that level guys then fold your log strand that way again is your twist out towards the nape area then wrap around that way just wrap around your strand in a barrel formation or the way back that way to a certain level guys where you're going to just you're going to lay down the tip after that level lay down the tip guys pick the remaining strand reinforce the tip and drop the remaining strand in totality all the way down that way 
up to that level. Don't be confused on how to come up, on how to manage the end in tip. Guys, I'm going to show you on how to manage the end in tip. Just pick the strand inside the loop. So guys, now we are left out with the strand here, which is a little bit lengthier. So I'm going to manage this by going, I'm going to make some rounds here, guys. But this time around, guys, I'm going to make the rounds and clockwise. We, remember, we, are, we were doing our barrel in a clockwise manner. So just do it clockwise up to that level. The tip ends that, that at that level. Then insert your crochet hook inside your barrel. Pick the tip. Disguise it inside the log strands. That way. It's very easy. Then you can just pull out your crochet. So let's do the, the final barrel, guys, all together. Just twist the two log strands together to a certain point. After that point, then measure the length of your, of your barrels. On my case, guys, my barrels will be shoulder length. So make sure you balance the barrels that way. Then wrap your log stones around that way just to create a barrel <laughs> while working backwards that way clockwise manner. After reaching certain point you realize that uh, your barrel gets the, the stones gets finished then the remaining tip guys you just rate along the log strand that way pick the remaining strand and wrap it around that way all the way back all the way back it's quite easy guys and remember to go back on my channel and uh, get a more detailed tutorial on how to come up with these kind of barrels as well as how to undo this kind of style guys i want to urge you guys to check to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new here like my work comment and share to your friends you can as well guys join my membership on my youtube channel guys you can have a look guys these are my barrels which I've just done at the nape area and they are very beautiful. You can have a look. All oh, the barrels are of the same length. So guys, now we are going to beautify our crown area by use of lock knots. And this is the way to go about it, guys. Just pick one of the strands. This time round, guys, I'm going to use single strands. So pick one of the strands, fold it to a certain level, to a certain length that you want your bangs to to appear that way on this case guys my bangs will be at this level then wrap around your log strand in a clockwise manner that way wrap around all the way back that way that's how you do lock knots guys for more elaborative video guys that pertains to lock knots i gave a tutorial on such a while ago guys you can revisit my channel for such to reach in the end guys you realize that uh, we have left a loop here so just pick your crochet and pull your remaining tip inside the loop to a certain level guys that way after pulling your your tip inside don't let it come out just let go your crochet at a certain point that way you know when i'm doing the lock knots guys you just need to pull the the tip outside the loop that way just let it lie low on the crown area because for the sake of our beginners guys we did the first one and now i'm going to show you the remaining one so let's do this one all together guys i identified the length of your locks that is the length the length of your 
lock nut bung. In this case, the length of my lock nut bung is at this level. So at this level, guys, just fold your lock nut, your strand, that is, at that level. After folding your strand, guys, to a certain level, identify the length of the lock nuts that way and put a mark by uh, starting your lock nuts at that level. So let's begin. Wrap around your lock strand that way in a clockwise manner. Just wrap around. That way, nice. All the way to the back. Up to that level. After reaching this level, guys, you realize that uh, we aren't left a loop here. So just pick your crochet and start it through the loop. Pick the strand to certain length. That way, the tip to a certain length. Pull your remaining tip inside and don't let it come outside, guys. Leave it to that level. Remember, when undoing the lock knots, we'll just need to pull the, the tip here. That way. And now this becomes our final lock knot. So let's go ahead, guys, now and do the the bun at the center. So guys, I've secured my lock strands to a middle pony. Now I'm going to do some barrels here. Thereby, guys, thereafter, we are going to, to style the, the barrels. So guys, my barrels will be consisting of six strands. And the first strand, guys, we are going to wrap it in totality that way. that level so we are going to wrap the second strand in totality as well this is my second strand that way guys our barrels will seem to be diminishing in volume after that level now from this area guys now we are remaining with four strands we are going to make uh, efforts as much as possible, guys, just to balance the strands all the way back. Just leave it at certain level, pick another strand. That way. As well, leave it at certain level, pick the next strand. That's how you do the barrels, guys. I want to urge you guys to, to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. Like my work, comment, and share to your friends. As well as staying locked, guys, for more tutorials to come. You can as well, guys, join my membership on my YouTube channel. You can as well place some super thanks. So after reaching this point guys, we are going to, to secure the tip at this level. I'm going to secure the tip at this level. This becomes our barrel section. So we are going to do the rest of the section that way. Right. Guys, now we are through with the barrels. You can have a look. We are through with the barrels. Now we are going to mold the bun. And uh, I'm going to do a, an official barrel or bun. And uh, understand that we did this tutorial on my platform. It's more elaborative there. So guys, you can revisit the channel for such. 
but uh, just to reiterate on what we were doing on such that video guys we picked the longest barrels we kicked off by picking the longest barrels guys so that's what i'm gonna do even though this time around i'm gonna do it quickly so i wanna advise you guys to go back on the channel and uh, get a look at, at a more elaborative video of such burn on my platform i'm gonna pick this strand here wrap it around that way <coughs> Drop it around, going upwards. Pick my second stunt, reinforce the ending tip of the first stunt, drop it that way. After that level, this time around, guys, our second section will end at this level. Pick another section from this area, reinforce the second section. The third section, guys, is gonna start by going hunter that way. Secure it there. Remember, guys, this is gonna be a quick version. If you wanna know more about this kind of bar, kindly revisit the channel. Pick another stone from this area. Drop it around. Drop it around. So I want to advise you guys to go back on the channel and uh, get a look at, at a more elaborative video of such fun on my platform remember guys to subscribe on my channel like my work comment positively and share to your friends you can as well guys join membership and uh, if possible you can as well give some super thanks Alright guys, this is our final outcome, just to uh, ramble it further on the styles. Guys, these are barrel rolls. Remember we had done a video about barrel rolls on my channel guys. If you want to know more about barrel rolls, we have a more informative tutorial about this, the barrel rolls. Remember guys, here I have just uh, chipped in creativity by combining three styles. And at the center we have a bun, which is a barrel roll bun. And uh, I want to urge you guys uh, to revisit my channel for such kind of ban. We have a more informative tutorial on how to come up with this beautiful ban. Guys, we have a slowed down version for beginners on my channel. Revisit the channel for such. We at the crown area, guys, we have lock notes, which are as well on my YouTube channel, guys. We did a video about the lock notes and I've, I've as well guys uh, elaborated more about the, the style on how to come up with this kind of style and it's amazing guys this is our final outcome it's wow it's lovely it's amazing it's truly amazing guys it's a festive season style guys that you can wear it's truly attractive style I want to urge you guys to try out this one. Not forgetting to like my work, share to your friends, and stay locked for more tutorials to come. Thank you guys for being there. Thank you for watching my tutorial to the end. I hope guys we are learning together, and I hope my tutorials are quite uh, informative. And uh, there are many ways guys to support the channel guys. You can join membership, you can as well give some super thanks. Guys, let's meet in the next tutorial. Welcome.